20 seconds now to launch. The rock is on independent power supply and we have the engine start, which is not yet the liftoff because we first need to raise uh, the power and lift off. Spectacular, the launch of Soyuz MS-9 and the beginning of Alexander Gerst's Horizons mission to the International Space Station, broadening horizons in science and space exploration. On board the Soyuz, alongside Alexander, spacecraft commander Sergei Prokopiev and NASA astronaut Serena Arnon-Chancellor. Some light cloud over Baikonur, we should still be able to see the uh, first stage, hopefully the engines are dropping away. Everything normal. And we have separation of the emergency rescue system. And now first stage separation. Now we're reaching the peak G-load during the launch phase. So these are now live pictures we are seeing from space, from outside the spacecraft. As we're rising towards orbit, you heard everything normal. So this is the first uh, for one of these uh, crewed launches to the space station to be able to see outside the spacecraft. So we're now 215 seconds into flight. running on the second stage of the Soyuz launcher at the moment. Which we expect to uh, be separated after 4 minutes 48 seconds. So we're absolutely in space now. Yeah, we have already reached an altitude of 142 kilometers. The rocket is currently flying at roughly three and a half kilometers per second. And the distance from the launch site is, ar is already more than 400 kilometers. 
Coming up now on second stage separation. And now we have confirmation that the second stage has been separated and we have the upper stage running. And uh, I should say, these, this is not an animation you're looking at, these are live pictures from the spacecraft. Yeah, that you saw that second stage fall away. It's a, it's a new view that we have actually, now um, having an external camera on the Soyuz. So our next major event, um, looking at uh, third stage engine cutoff, that needs to be um, 8 minutes 45 seconds into the flight to reach orbit. And still gaining speed, Matthias. Absolutely. I mean, we need a certain speed to remain in orbit. If the engines would cut off now, we uh, wouldn't have the crew remaining in space, but they would then return to, to Earth. So, just to put that in perspective, you can imagine such a speed, 27,000 kilometers per hour is what we need to reach in 8 minutes 45 seconds. That's rocket science. Still gaining height and speed. Clear view of the uh, curvature of the Earth. Yeah, roughly half a minute to go before we have engine cut off. seconds before engine cut off. You can still see the engine burning there, it's a third stage engine burning. Final seconds to reach orbit. Fifteen seconds before engine cut off. Five. There we go. Engine cut off and uh, our friends are in space. Beautiful. There's the third stage dropping away towards the Earth. First time we've been able to witness that view.